Hello everyone, my name is Sandeep Webb and today I am here with a new problem of heat code. So the problem uh, we are going to solve, uh, we are going to follow this, okay, yeah, we are going to follow this flow in order to solve this problem. First we understand the problem statement, then first approach, then I have some tips for you regarding uh, the problem solving and then there is another approach okay so let's come to the problem statement first okay so the problem statement that we have is uh, is we have given an array which is nums and we have to move all the even integers at the beginning and after that we want odd integers let's understand this problem with the help of some example so this is the array we have 3 1 2 4 and what we do we basically take all the even integers put it in the beginning and then all the odd integers put it after that and this is the array that we are need going to return okay so let's solve this problem let's see the approach first in order to solve this problem so the first approach is very brute force and I also recommend you before uh, see this video please go and check out and try to solve this problem it is an easy problem and if you want to understand more learn more then you come here again thank you okay so the first uh, basic or naive approach is we can take an extra output array okay and its size is same as our input array which is 4 so let's have 4 in place elements now we can iterate through this array which is 3 and we can check if 3 is even or odd so 3 is odd so you know we want odd at the end so we will put it there and we also take 2 pointers so after this we decrement this pointer then we go there and we check it is odd so we will put here decrement the pointer now we will see it is even so we put here increment the pointer right and then it is even so we will put 4 here and this is the output array we need to return right let's talk about the space and the time complexity so the time complexity of this problem is big O of n and the space complexity of this problem is big O of n. Why? Because we are using this extra space in order to store the answer. Okay. Now we will try to remove this extra big O of n space. Before that let's come to the tip which is very important. So the today tip is regarding the pattern how we can find the pattern in the problem so whenever we try to solve some problem when we try to solve some problem we need to understand the pattern of that okay so uh, in DSA in problem solving pattern is very helpful in solving more and more problems every problem have some patterns and if we are able to understand that pattern we can easily find out the solution for that how we can do this let's talk about through this problem so as you know we have the problem like we have given an array right and in the array what we want we first want the even elements and then we want the odd elements so this problem is basically related to one more problem which is 0 1 so basically we have a lot of 0 and 1 uh, elements in our array and what we need to do we want 0 element in starting and then 1 element after that okay in that problem we are basically using pointers two pointer approach and solve this let's see how we can use the same pattern to solve this one problem okay so that is how we basically understand the pattern 
so let's take an example 3 2 1 and 4 so what we do we basically we know that even element should come first so we take a pointer which is next even which is pointing to the zeroth index and we will iterate from the starting at any point of time if we find any even element we will swap it with the next even index and also increment it let's see how we can do this so now you can see this is an odd element so we can't do anything now this is an even element we will see the next even index is 0 so let me give the indexing first so we will swap it with 0 and after swapping we get 2 3 1 and 4 right now increment this pointer by 1 we will check it is not even and also we need to increment this pointer now this is odd we don't need to do anything we will move next it is 4 which is even now we will swap it with 1 index and after swapping we will get 2 4 1 3 and now this pointer comes out and we need to stop and return the same array in this problem let's talk about the time complexity it is big O of n and the space complexity is big O of 1 and that's how we will remove an extra space we are using before right let's see the code for that uh, sorry okay so you can see that this is the next even pointer and this is i which we use for iteration we will check at every point if it is even element then we are going to swap it and also increment the next even pointer and we will go for the next element and if i run it oh sorry uh, i have to return the nums after this and it is going to solve thank you and uh, if you want uh, more videos please like share and also you can comment out for which topic you want videos i can also help you to understand those topics thank you